You're very welcome back. Now, it's two years since he was last in with us, so we thought we'd offer Donald Skeen an invitation back to come for a visit. Is it two years? It is. Well, I've been just, waiting for the invite. I, think he's, <laughs> I must get a recipe for the face cream we're using, because he's looking younger. Exactly. He's, well, he's just released, wait for his seventh cookbook. Yes, that's seven. At meals and minutes, stone and scheme. You're very welcome back. Thank you very much. It's great Good to be morning. back. I feel, too, feel like, I feel like it's been longer than that. He's aging in the reverse, isn't he? Is really? Like, I have to do the just for men now. No, I have to put the makeup don't. in the cracks, you know. It's all going downhill. Well, you see, you've got the little baba now at home, little Noah. <laughs> this is it. I haven't seen sleep, but no, he's, he's, he's good on the sleep now, but he's, uh, yeah, he's nine months old now he's and he's great months. fun. Yeah, he's but little personality's coming out and he's good fun, you know. Can I just say he's a spit of mammy? Everyone says it. He's I've been the waiting. Spit of mammy. <laughs> I am, exactly. I'm holding out and saying that at some point now he's going to start turning and start looking a little bit like they me. They do go I, through phases of looking like, you know, one parent. Or yeah, other, no, so you they might don't. get a look. Well, I, no, I was blonde don't. when I was a kid, so I'm yeah, thinking don't. that at some stage, but you know. But they'll also say to you, he's the image of Mammy, but he has your personality. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's definitely oh, look, there he is. Now, is he not the image of Mammy? Uh, image is so he is. Away. Look, I can admit it fully, I know. I just, I just need to hold on to something for myself, you know. Has, how has that changed schedules, life? Because you, like, I follow you on Instagram. Yeah. You're never at home. You're always here, there, filming, yeah. books, this, that, yeah. Saturday Kitchen, everywhere. But he goes with you a lot of the time, doesn't he? You, a lot you of the time. You travel as a family together. Yeah, I mean, so, like, we would have travelled... Because we're, we're based in L.A., so yeah. we, we, we travel back and forth quite a bit. But, you know, since he's been born... He's only around since nine months ago. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, so we're still very much getting used to it. And, you know, for the trips, you know, when I'm longer back here, you know, if it's more than two weeks, we'll try and all of us go over. But it's, you know, yourself. Like, it's yeah. bringing the, uh, the oh, horse and show. the caravan and yeah. the, everything, you know. It's totally different when oh, you're travelling. We, we travelled with eight bags over here. I've, yeah. You know, I, normally yeah. I kind of slink off to the... the airport with a little carry-on like yeah. and it's just a different ball game you would have found the six of those bags had books in them this is true of course ah, yeah, you books, have to sell them <laughs> tell us about the new book uh, well uh, the new book so meals and minutes um came off the back of the fact that we had been traveling quite a yeah. bit and we were in airbnbs and originally you know we I, I had this lovely kitchen in Houth, and i'd come you know i had but it presses bustling with ingredients and equipment and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And uh, when we went off to these Airbnbs, you'd be left with a kitchen that had a pot and a pan and nothing else. Yeah. And I started to realise that a lot of people, you know, didn't have access to all these equi this equipment and the ingredients yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So I was in one of these Airbnbs one night and uh, I, I literally went down to the, the local supermarket, picked up a shopping basket of ingredients and literally six ingredients and I had supper. And I was like, this is the future. This is the way to do it. I've had, yeah. you know, I've seven cookbooks filled with, you know, doable recipes. But this one is really about kind of getting dinner to the table without the fuss. But it's quite often, if you open a cookbook, the biggest thing is that you don't have all of the ingredients, the 25 yeah. ingredients. The, powder, the other yeah. thing is, yeah. They, yeah. They, yeah. it yeah. costs yeah. you a fortune to make one dish that you're never going to, because we're not you. So we're not, never going to make loads of different variations of it using the ingredients totally. again. Totally. You don't have the equipment. So actually, this is paired back. This is actually quite a good opener, I suppose, for anyone who hasn't cooked before. Absolutely. And from my point of view, you know, it, it, the, the, the book is broken out into one pot, one pan, quick yeah. prep, slow cook, slow yeah. cook, you know, uh, shopping basket ingredients. The sort of stuff that, you know, when you're coming in from a hard day's work or yeah. coming home to feed the family, whatever it is, you can literally make it in 15 minutes. I mean, the whole, every recipe in the book is 15 minutes prep and there's 90 dinner recipes. There's no desserts. It's, we are, we're going hardcore with this one. <laughs> yeah, it's literally yeah, yeah. dinner to the table, no fuss and no mess. I love the way you've broken the book down, Don the six chapters and there's literally a chapter called one pot all the following recipes you cook in one pot yeah. then there's a chapter at one pan mm -hmm. do, and then there's another one with only six ingredients yeah it's simple. It's simple. And I think, you know... We, what uh, are the typical meals, by the way? The typical meals, I, I think it's the sort of thing, like the one pan sort of stuff is what, you know, so going back to why we start, why, why I came up with the idea, I mean, obviously we were travelling and we, I saw this in kitchens, but the other reason is that we now have a nine-month-old and, you know, yeah. so I, was, I had started writing the book around the time Noah was, uh, Sophie was pregnant with Noah and then when he was born, all of a sudden the need for meals and minutes became uh, a great <laughs> deal more because I had a hangry wife and a crying child yeah. and so, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. when you're left in the kitchen to like come up with something to cook for dinner it's that sort of you know quick cooking one pan meal so like there's a recipe that i am obsessed with at the moment um it's a garlic and rosemary chicken breast. You literally just chop up your, your, your herbs and the garlic. You pan fry your chicken breast. You throw a whole load of half tomatoes in. So you make this kind of quick frying tomato Lovely. sauce. Yeah. And then you just add some gnocchi, which takes three minutes in a pot of boiling water. You have dinner in 15 minutes and it's super simple and super quick. And, and he brought tasty, some tasty. He brought some and I brought some. Ah, Charlo was in here a minute ago. He I thought he was going to cook that up. That, the stir he gave me yeah. a look at it. He's, uh, he's great. Yeah, he but is that's, great. that's the key to it, though, is trying to keep it simple, trying to keep yeah. it quick yeah. and fresh. Totally. And 
healthy. Yeah. And healthy, exactly. And tasty. Yeah. But this is it. So we have this TV show on um, on RT, uh, which is coming back for. We've just filmed the the next season of it, so it's a ten part series. So on when RT. is that due to start? Uh, the tenth of October. So okay. we're really excited about that. But we have as part of it this five minute meal challenge, which is a bit of crack. Like I do not suggest wow. you go around the the kitchen with like a headless chicken. You know, sure. but the whole point of it is to show that you can actually produce really good food in a short amount of time. And um, you know, all the recipes, like when it comes down to those five minutes, it, it's amazing what you can do and what you can yeah. achieve when you put your your head on, you know, in, in gear and you're ready to go. Yeah. And you know, I have proved to myself that it can be a little bit simpler because I, you know, I'm used to like I love cooking, and you know, obviously yeah. in the job I do, you do it all the time. But to try and kind of give it a, a simple take and to make sure that people can make it, I mean. Looking at the book, I know there'll be students who'll, who'll cook from it. I know there'll be moms who'll cook yeah. from it. I know there'll be dads from, who'll cook with, with it. And I think that's the idea I behind it. I think it makes it. it more achievable, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Where do you stand on the whole slow cook thing? Because last week, I don't know whether you knew, but it was my birthday last week. Ah, oh, happy birthday. You never yeah, know. Did, did he mention it once or twice? Very, very low key. I think I mentioned it once, but <laughs> right. I might have got away with it. Okay. But my sister's blessed and got me a slow cooker for my birthday. Now, I've never used one before. Do you have one? Do you I use do. one? I do. Are they the greatest things in sliced bread? I'm, I haven't switched it on yet. Okay. I'm Googling recipes well, listen, and going, where do I start? I have the, ch the, the quick, pre quick prep slow cook chapter is all about that. Oh, there you go. So, like, and I actually only, to be honest, I never had one up until about a year ago. And we, I started using one, um, like, if, if I'm in the, mor in the morning time, I have a bit of time before I go off to work. And um, what I'll do is, which drives my wife mad because the smell of the kitchen. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, eight o'clock yeah. in, in the morning. It smells of beef casserole. You know, it literally takes me... 10 minutes to chop up a few onions, you know, get some chicken into, into a slow cooker and you can make up a lovely chicken stew or whatever it is. The beauty of it is that it then sits off and cooks while you're while you're doing whatever else you're doing during yeah, the day. So yeah. they're very good. Um, you know, I've always used it. If you don't have one, you can use a casserole pot, but obviously you have to yeah. ma maintain it and watch it over the hub. You have to keep hub. an eye on it, yeah. Yeah, but they're, they're great. They are great. I don't know what to start with. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to have a You'll look at the rest of the There's loads in there. The there's chicken stew. Right. There's corned beef and cabbage, a classic, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're talking. Corned beef and cabbage. Bit of, bit you don't classics. see that in many cookbooks. Well, no, this is. Well, you should. Yeah, well, it's I, a great you know what? Dish. Since I've been going to the States, because uh, obviously we're, we're used to bacon and cabbage. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, when you lear learn a little bit more about the whole history behind corned beef and cabbage, yeah, it is yeah. an Irish thing, you yeah, know? Yeah. It's a salt beef in, in Cork and it would have gone over. Um, but, you know. And it gave birth to corned beef hash, which is a breakfast staple in the diners in America. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. leftover corned beef and yeah. you pull it into a hash. As pack. you would know, Simon, because oh. I have your cookbook sitting in my house in LA you and do, it's but... absolutely beautiful. And so congratulations. Beef hash is in there. <laughs> and it's in there. <laughs> yeah. Had to be in there. Had to be in there. What about life in LA? You're living there. I had thought you were over and back all the time yeah, for your yeah, work yeah. over there, but you're, that's that's your base camp at the moment. We're based out there, yeah. I have to say now, you know, he's not, Noah's nine months old now, and um, when you do come home, it's it's uh, you, it starts the draw on your heartstrings yeah. is, a, is a little bit more because, you know, your family and he He's grown up and missing those stages and around family, and they're dying to see him. Yeah. So, course, yeah. um, so I have to say, you know, for the first, we're both myself and Sophie were kind of saying, you know, we love it in LA, but I don't know how much longer we'll stay out there, considering family side of things. But we, you never know, you never know. Well, with you these know things. where work is going to take you, Donald. Where, this exactly. is it. Yeah. You have to follow where the gigs are. You this know is what it. I mean? Exactly. Um, so you're signing copies of the book. Is it today? Today in Easton's on O'Connell Street. Come on down. We'd love to see what you. What time are you down there? Uh, Twelve thirty. Twelve thirty. Brilliant. Thank you're going to be busy today, Donald. It's busy. Thank yes. you for coming. Thank you for us. having me. I don't believe it two years. I know, I know, I can't believe it's that and long. The next time You've you changed the whole place since I was in I the know, last time. The next time you come in, bring something with you. I will, I will. A and pot, you're will. both looking gorgeous as well. <laughs> you know? On a Saturday morning, they're doing well Just for feed themselves. Just feed them all night. Thanks, Donald. Right, so Thank you, Don. Laura will be finding out all about mindfulness at the Vitality Expo in the RDS. See you in a bit.